video is to demonstrate cupcake patterns from your brother diskettes onto your PC using your F100 disk drive, the BL7 cable, and the software that comes with the cable when you buy it called F100 Utility Software. This is the BL7 cable. One end has a USB plug that plugs into your computer. The computer needs to be running Windows. It can be an Apple computer, but it needs to be running Windows. Okay, so the other end of the cable fits into the back of your disk drive. It's similar to the cable that came with the disk drive that connected the disk drive to the knitting machine. Only this one, one end will go to the disk drive and the USB plug will go to the PC. Okay, I'm at my computer. The Brother disk drive is plugged into the, the power cord is plugged in, the USB cord is plugged into my computer, the other end of the BL7 is plugged into the disk drive, and I'm putting in my disk that I want to copy. In this case, the disk is called Clowning Around, different uh, pictures of clowns that I want to knit. Okay. Alright, I am going to start now the utility, the F100 utility. A good idea would be to create a folder on your desktop where you want to put... It's a good idea to set up a folder where you're going to keep your um, copied files. I've called mine FB100 files and in that file I have a subfolder called clowns. I'm going to put uh, all the patterns from this particular diskette in the clowns folder. Okay. We'll minimize that for now. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the F100 utility. It's created when I downloaded the software, it created a shortcut FB100 utility. I double click on that. It's going to ask you about a COM port. In this case, I'm using a USB um, plug, and it considers that on my computer to be COM3. I click OK, and it asks if you want to read, write, format, or edit. The first thing you want to do when you have a diskette in is read the diskette. Right now, it's read it starts reading, and it'll read all sectors. So it'll read from 1 to 80 sectors, no matter how big the pattern is or how small it is. It will read all 80 sectors, and that takes a couple of minutes. Mm. All right, the um, this drive is still being read. It's at sector 67 of 80. It's gone from 1, and it has to go to 80. Um, if you'll note, the BL7 has flashing lights that are uh, going as it's reading. Green, red, green, red. And as long as that's going on, and you see the disk drive, light is also on, showing it's being read. Everything is fine. You know, you're on track. All right. It's read all 80 of 80 segments. Now it's asking you about saving. So it saves it as a BPD file. You click on save, and you have to change the name. Okay, in this instance, this will be Clowns. Clowns BPD. And I will say, save it in the Clowns folder. Okay. First, so you see the first step in transferring is to read the disk by clicking on read. The cable reads the tracks. When it is finished reading the sectors, you save the file. You change the name as I just did and you save it. Be sure to remember where you save it to. Our next step will be to extract the files. Click on edit. You must click next on open. And there you have Clowns BPD. Highlight it 
open. And there you have all 14 tracks from Clowns. In this case, I want all the tracks. You can take one track, a particular track, or whatever. But since I'm copying the whole get, I'm going to extract oh. all. And it'll take me track by track. Track one contains two patterns. It asks me, if do I want to? I say, yes, I want to extract it. And although you don't see anything happen, it actually has extracted those oh. two. And it will keep going. So oh. I'll just keep saying yes to each one. And usually you have just one or two tracks. This one just have, happens to have 14. But again, you can pick the tracks you want. And just keep going until I get to 14. Alright, I've copied all the tracks. Now to confirm that the patterns have all been downloaded, I'll click on FB100 files, the first folder I created. I'll look into the clowns folder, and there you have it. All the files that were on that diskette have been transferred to that folder. They've all been renamed Pat, which is what Designer Knit uses for its patterns. So you can take all of all any, however many of these files you want, and now use them in Designer Knit if you happen to have Designer Knit. Okay, they're all ready for you. You can just remove your diskette, put your next diskette in and continue copying files, or just go ahead and take this to Design and Knit, um, and into your Design and Knit, open Design and Knit, select the clowns pattern that you want, and um, begin knitting. That's all there is to it. Now, just if you just want to look at the patterns, here's track one. Let's take a look at track one and see what's on it. Okay, track one had two files on it. Let's look at this one. You click on the one you want to see, click on show, and look at that. That would be the pattern you would be knitting with your design and knit. That was what was in track one. So this is good even if you don't have design and knit and you want to see what the patterns look like that are on your diskettes. You can bring them in um, using the software and just examine each pattern. Let me look at a couple of others on that track. Okay, let's see what the second one was. That looks similar. All right, let's go back um, and look at a different track. Let's try track nine. So track nine, and this is just to edit and take a look at it. Show, and again, more clowns doing different things. So it's, uh, it sounds complicated, but it's really not, and this is all you actually have to do. You have now your patterns from your brother diskette onto your PC.